recording? All right, you better believe it. Okay, I have an emergency podcast episode today because I just came from the worst sandwich shop, the worst fucking sandwich shop that I have ever experienced in my life. Something about her, zero stars. I will never be back. Do you hear that? Now, am I hangry? I'm hangry, okay? Do you want to know why? I just waited four hours in WeHo, okay, at something about her. So excited, so excited. They were, we, I was making friends. By the way, the friends were the best part because look at me. Look at me here on my Instagram, listening to me here on the Sarah Fraser show. Do you hear me noshing on a sandwich? Do you hear a bag rattling around? An old bag rattling around from a sandwich shop? No. That's because I waited four hours at something about her for no sandwiches. No sandwiches. And hardly any updates, okay? This is Ariana Maddox and Katie Maloney's grand opening day. You're telling me these two women who have been in the restaurant business for years weren't anticipating an enormous line, didn't see the enormous line at noontime and realize they were never going to be able to service anyone. So, hey, we ought to come out, take some photos and tell people, you know, sorry, we're probably not going to get to you today. How about a free cookie coupon? How about a code? How about join our email list? We'll give a discount. Zero. Zilch. Four hours I waited in line. I finally went up to the chick because there was one, and I don't want to blame the women that work for them. It's not their fault, okay? I finally went up to the woman standing up front. I said to her, hey, you know, we've been in line four hours here, okay? By the way, do you think they had samples, cookie samples? How about even this? Like, I should be running their marketing. How about a merch stand out in the alleyway they made us stand in? So they could have been making an additional 20K, in sales money from their merch. No, they didn't even come up with that. Hello, it ain't rocket science here. So I go up to the girl finally after four hours, okay? People haven't had water. They came around and handed out water. I'll give it to them at like 11.45. They had a girl hand out water. It was lovely, it was refreshing, seemed like a cucumber lemon mix, okay? That was it. Then we didn't see a dingly dangly plastic cup anywhere in sight for hours. Sun comes up. He banging on people. No updates, by the way. The only people that were getting updates were maybe the first 10 people in line. This lovely little lady would come out and say, they're out of the the this the Nancy sandwich. They're out of that. Finally, I go up to her. I go, we, we've been all waiting here over four hours. So what's the story? The sandwich shop says it closes at four. Are you going to keep it open for us? Um, let me check. No, we're not. We're going to close at four. All right, Queen, did you think to maybe come around the corner and let everybody know who's been here for four hours that there ain't a shot in hell now because it's 2.55 that we're going to get up there and get in? Then, then these people, are these people in the business? Am I nuts? Am I out of control? Is my blood sugar low? Ooh. Okay, tell me. You can yell at me. Maybe I'm wrong. I love supporting small business. I wanted to go in there. I started out the day and I thought to myself, Sarah, you've been far too critical about Ariana Maddox and Katie Maloney. Uh, everybody was excited there, Uber fans. At one point, Ariana came out. She thanked the crowd. She went to their storage unit. Is this water? Oh, thank God. Thank you, honey. I hardly had any water all day. My pee is like as yellow as it gets. My God. Okay. Where was I? I'm so upset. I'm so flustered and I am so hangry. All right. Um... Ariana came out. I thought, okay, congratulations. I said to her as she walked by, I thought, you know, good for them, right? Good for them. No updates, none. I love some, I wanted to be nice to them. I wanted to eat my words today. I love supporting women. I love supporting small businesses. They called me Sarah Small Business Frazier back in DC. I was doing so much for women in small business. I was so excited. After four hours, I go up to the gal. I go, are we going to get in? She goes, well, we're definitely closing at four. I go, okay, are you going to offer any comps, coupons, a free cookie for people who have been waiting hours? Let me check. No, we're not going to offer any comps, um, but I think everyone will get a picture. I don't want a fucking picture here. If I pricked my finger right now, they'd say like they wouldn't even be able to read my blood sugar. I haven't been able to eat. What a bunch of garbage. I will not be back. Zero stars. I... All right, I'll speak for myself. I'll just say this. A woman from Business Insider was there. Okay, Business Insider food critic. She's like, I've never seen anything like this in my life. Now I'll let her write her own article, okay? She's like, I've never seen anything this disorganized in my entire life. At, you guys, at 2.45 in the afternoon, they decide to not go to takeout service. They decide to go to dine-in only. 
So the only so after hours of waiting there, no warning, they move to dine in only. They have a whole like a whole of maybe five rinkity dinkity t- tables in there. Five. So you go in. They wanted us to wait to continue to wait with no updates, but they're closing at four for a table. Order the sandwiches, let those people eat. And then when the four people come out, four more people or two more people, whoever is in your party can go in. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I don't, like, I've never run a restaurant and I can tell you that is terrible. It's a no, it's a zero out of five for me. Is there an option on Google to go minus one? Maybe we'll hit you back to zero out of five. If like someone, if Penny hits me up with a coupon. I can't even tell you how like terrible customer service. What a day. First of all, here's what I did not witness this, but this is what people are saying. I'll tell you what I witnessed. I'm I'm good. I'm calming down. I'm having some water. I'm not going to go back, but best of luck to them. People were happy to see them. The people that ate sandwiches there said they were delicious. This is what people were circulating in the line. Whether this is true or not, I didn't exactly witness this because I did not get out of my Uber until 11.30 a.m. West Coast time to wait in line for something about her. People in line ahead of me said that they showed up before 10 a.m. The restaurant said on JustJared.com and other places that they were going to be open 10 to 4. People ahead of me said they did not even open their doors until 10.20. I hate tardiness, but okay. Then they apparently took photos from 10.20 until like 10.50, and that's when they started taking sandwich orders. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I don't know if they didn't think because in Hollywood, most of their fans aren't here. It wasn't going to, they weren't going to be there. People waited three hours to get a sandwich. I ain't the one. I just, I cannot, I cannot wait. I know myself. I did this with Tom Sandoval. I waited an hour for his stupid meet and greet. Never again. I thought to myself, okay, I'm going to wait two hours tops. Two hours flies by. Then three. Then we're going on four. And when that woman told me, Aunt, sorry, it ain't going to happen, I was done. The other thing, again, I don't know how people aren't prepared for this. Apparently, their POS system, their point of sale system went down throughout the day. That kept things incredibly slow. Um, Like I said, no free samples. They did not come out of the sandwich shop. I guess they were actually, Ariana and Katie were like actually serving people. All right, fine. At one point, TMZ rolls up. (laughs) The chick that works for TMZ comes out of her van, near the camera, walks right into the restaurant to interview Ariana and Katie. They didn't kick her out. I guess she came back out. People had to give out snacks. Fans, fans were giving out snacks. A lovely woman who runs a reality blog from Vegas was giving out Cheez-Its. That's how like, and they didn't even care. They saw and they were like, thanks, thanks. You guys can't, like, nobody was prepared. This is the most, it was, they've been in the restaurant business for a decade. I'm not going back. (laughs) I don't care. Am I out of pocket? Am I out of pocket? I really wanted to like these two. I really wanted to eat crow. I was planning to do a review here today and nosh into that Greek goddess and eat my freaking words. Well, I guess not. Oh my God. The best part was all the amazing women and men that were there. That was the best part. There ain't no way that sandwich can be worth that. Okay. They were out of sandwiches. Three of the sandwiches they were out of at 2.30. Again, not coming around the line and notifying people, notifying the first five. And then we kept going up being like, hey, do you have an update? I I cannot even. I am so good. I am so done. I don't even think I need to watch the show anymore, quite frankly. That's how fired I'm <laughs> The best part, Peter Mattigrill from Sir comes out. Now, Peter's been on this podcast. I'm actually working on a project with Peter. I'll talk about that in a couple of weeks. Peter comes out. It's like, hey, are you here? I was like, yeah, come on out. Peter came, rolled up with a couple of friends. He was obviously at Sir. He took some photos. Ken Vanderpump, Lisa Vanderpump's husband, rolled by in his Range Rover. No tinted windows, slowed down, looked by. I just, like, again, I thought two hours tops, right? Or they would let us know. And and am I out of pocket for thinking like, if you're going to wait that long, they should give you a coupon, like a free cookie coupon. I'm not, okay. I know the sandwiches are 20 bucks. How about like a a, a coupon, a $5 coupon off for people? They were like, no, no, no problem, bitch. I'll go to a million other like sandwich shops here. I'm all good. 
my I was there so long posting updated videos on my Instagram at the Sarah Fraser show at my TikTok at the Sarah Fraser show. The battery died. Okay. I have no battery on my phone. Oh, let me go look. Let me go get my phone. Let me go get other notes that I had. I'm, I'm so fired up. I can't even believe the audacity. I, I'd be embarrassed. I would be embarrassed. <clears throat> when I do live podcast show, I stayed till the end. Like anybody that's got a question hours later, what can I do? Especially if something goes wrong like that. Let me comp you. Let me give you something. Hold on. What other notes did I take? Hold on, this phone's charging. All right, they ran out of the Katie, the Nancy, the Cameron. <clears throat> now there was also a rumor which turned out to be garbage. People were saying in the con like in the line that Ariana wasn't there or was there for a short period of time and left. Not true. She was there the whole time. She came out. The POS system is down. Um, people loved the sandwiches. Um, that was it. And then the other thing too, this is like West Hollywood, right? They hand out all these plastic containers, no garbage cans anywhere. Okay. Yeah. And no garbage cans. All right. <laughs> I, I don't care. So many lost opportunities to make a, I, I just feel like this, you know what? And, and David Yontif had said who I co-host with, he had said, you know, it's a fake sandwich shop. It's not going to happen. Okay. We said that we, then, you know, I was like, David, you're wrong. Um, we're wrong for saying this. And now I'm like, you know what? I don't think that sandwich shop is going to stay in business. Not with that. But maybe I'm dead wrong. And lines will continue to be around the block and people will love it. But what an absolute bunch of BS. Like cr a crap. Um, and to me, like if Ariana could come to the back and get supplies, then come around. Like, like nobody could come around the entire time, give out free samples. Like anything. Pass. Pass for me. It's a zero out of five. So anyhow, there it was. My day started. I went to something about her starting at, I got there at 1130. I left at about three o'clock. I was totally toast and done. I had to go next door to the coffee shop. The people there were annoyed. I didn't understand that either. I don't know. There's something about Los Angeles. I almost feel like they don't want your business. It's so bizarre. I think people are so rich here. They just are like, eh, whatever, take it or leave it. The coffee shop next door, this is their day. I go in at like 12.30. They have one croissant left. I'm like, hey, I'll take your, you know, do you guys have anything else? They're like, no, this is the last croissant. I'm like, wow, you, you guys must have had a busy day. We did. <laughs> I go, oh, do you know something about her was opening? This is a big day for you. Yeah, but you never know. You can't really plan for these things. Okay, well, it's a reality show. Y'all didn't think there might be a line. Like, it's like they never thought there would be a line. I, I don't know. I, I don't understand. I, I, I'm i no marketing genius, but they didn't even update on their Instagram. The last time I even looked at Katie Maloney's Instagram, there was like one post about the line. To me, it's so disrespectful. Like, it's just so, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I feel like it was disrespectful. Maybe I'm out of pocket. Maybe you guys can all come for me, but I, I'm, I just would not operate like that. I just don't. I feel like they did not care. That's all I'm going to say. I feel like they just didn't care. So, okay, there's my full review. Um, I, I, I'm so upset. Like I gotta go eat something. I just feel so disrespected and not me personally. It's like, fine. I mean, I, I live here. People came in from Vegas. There was a woman from Australia. I mean, there's a woman here from a law conference, skipping her law conference for the day. I don't know how you can do that to people. I just don't, I, I have no idea. There was a gentleman ready to pass out. He couldn't get water. He was so afraid to leave the line. I was like, sir, I don't even think you're getting in. Like, I mean, that I, to me, like, would you do that to people? I just wouldn't operate like that. And I would bend over backwards to say to people, oh my God, I'm sorry. We're not going to get to you all today. Please come back. Like, let me give you something. And Katie Maloney's mom was there. I guess people were excited about that. All right, that's it. I'm going to make my own peanut butter and jelly for $22. Bye.